Hello and welcome everyone. I'm heading into new territory in search of a bull elk. This one will require a little bit of research, but the end result will be worth the wait. Sounds like Emily's looking for some nice antlers to hang up in the Calburn Lookout Towers. This time I'll have to travel to Calburn and harvest a Roosevelt elk bull down from a hunting stand. I have hardly touched the Calburn region, so I have a bit of exploring to do before I'm ready. I'll begin by searching the edges of the waterway during the drink time and looking for hunting stands. If I don't have any luck, I'll try again during their feed time. Thankfully, hunting stands and lookout towers usually have elevated animal activity, so I'm sure to find some zones. Roosevelt elk are an awesome species to hunt here in Leighton. I like to take my time though, as their highly tuned sense of hearing and smell will get you busted if you're not careful. I have yet to unlock the elk collar, but if I could, I would bring one along. I'll also be sure to bring along a gun that takes Class 8 ammo. She's been out looking for Roosevelt elk with Beatty recently, and I guess at some point she got the idea to hang an elk trophy up in one of the Calburn Towers. She asked if you could help out by bagging one. Roosevelt elk can be real tricky to find. But she mentioned seeing some pass by a hunt stand in Calburn several times in the past. That's as good a place as any to start. I began the mission by spawning in at the High Lake Outpost. I haven't scouted the Calburn region at all yet, so I strapped on my boots and started hiking. This here's Calburn. The tower shouldn't be far. Right off the bat, I walked over the border and completed the first objective. Nah, that's a cow, a female. Emily will want a bull, a male, for the trophy. Look for one with handlers. The next thing I needed to do was to find a hunting stand. Unlocking the lookout towers might be a quicker way to find them, but I opted for exploring on foot, looking for need zones as I went. Turns out, Calburn has a lot of sights to see. In my travels, I came across several old shacks, an airplane crash site, and a bunch of nice hunting spots. Ultimately, I found five hunting stands in the area. This bodes well for options, but I only found two with a bull elk in a nearby zone. The first was on the western shore of the river with a single elk feeding just below the hunting tower. But the second had a nice looking level four with a couple of cows. Since he was the flashier of the two options, I decided to try my luck with him. So I built the tower, fast traveled to the closest outpost, set the time, and returned to the stand. But this hunt would prove to be more of a challenge than I had expected. I had plenty of time, so I waited for the herd to arrive. But somehow, the bull snuck in by me. Much to my dismay, he spent the entire time in the zone behind a tree and a cow. Annoyed, I reset the time and tried again. This time, they came by the stand, but closer than I had expected. I used the scent eliminator spray, but as soon as he got downwind of me, he spooked and bolted. He came back later in the evening, but he was through the trees and a long distance away. Out of options, I went back to the outpost, Reset the time again, and return to the stand. This time the herd came in sooner than before and even closer. I tried the spray again, hoping it might work this time, but he was already downwind and alert. It was a hasty shot, but I didn't want to take any chances. Thankfully, it looked like it connected well.
This guy is a gold at 341.94. He's got a solid score and a great looking rack of antlers. I got him through both lungs with a 7mm at 77 meters. I've been staring at him through the rangefinder for a while now, so it's nice to finally see him up close. Great, you got it. Emily will be thrilled. Well, it took some legwork and a few tries, but it all paid off with a nice bull elk. If this video was helpful or you learned something along the way, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll be adding more of these guides as I go along with my progression, so be sure to check in for more Call of the Wild content. Thanks for watching!